Hi hey everybody, my name is Evie Delta. This is my third video. Um, this is the first time I'm actually recording it through YouTube. So hopefully it works out okay. Um, so I wanted to do a really quick um, Dollar Tree haul. I mean, it's not really a haul, but I went to Dollar Tree. And um, <coughs> Jessica Braun, she's a Jam Beauty 89. She uh, has done one of these before. I've seen it on her channel. Anyways, um, she got us like I've I've never honestly I've never considered buying Dollar Tree or Dollar Store makeup ever, um, because I thought it was like bad makeup, um, which apparently it's not. It's just inexpensive makeup. So I've got cards in here for people's birthdays. I'm not gonna show because. And, you know, the birthdays aren't here yet and stuff. So, I only got, I went in and I basically was like, no more than five bucks. Get five items and see if you like them. And then, if it's like, legit and you like it and it works for me, um, you know, I'll do that. Now, I will tell you this. I didn't buy it because I was like, I don't really like powder <coughs> um, foundation. But, they had e.l.f. brushes. They had e.l.f. makeup. It was in a lot, but they had some. They had the eyeliner, which I don't like liquid eyeliner, which is why I didn't buy it. And also they had um, the baked foundation. I didn't see any, or I guess like not baked foundation. It was like the powder foundation. Anyways, <clears throat> but they had brushes. And I'm not just talking like the white brushes. I'm talking like the special black brushes, the... I didn't see any stipple brushes. If they had had stipple brushes, I would have bought that. But the the special brushes that are like this, the black ones, if they had had stipple brushes, would have totally gotten that. So, okay. So let's go over what I did get though. So I got two, one, well, yeah, two were Wet and Wild, two were Sassy and Chic, and one was by LA Colors. I almost bought. A, um, an eyeshadow palette. I don't really like eyeshadow though. I mean, it's not that I don't wear it. It's just I have to be in the mood to wear it. I did buy two eyeshadows for um, I'm going to be going to a wedding in November. So I wanted to see if I could get like more. It's going to be a nighttime wedding. So I was like, maybe I could wear something glitter. Okay. The first thing, it's by LA Colors. It is liquid makeup. It's in the color True Beige. Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a foundation so let's see if it's even the right shade I'm just gonna be real um <clears throat> so LA colors I've actually never heard of them before it does have a pump which I mean let's be real pumps are the best so color this is LA colors so I'm just gonna oh wow okay one pump and that's how much product so I probably it, that always happens. I always somehow get that where it gets like that and then it gets on the inside. That's okay. Alright, so let's see if it's the right skin tone shade. Um, hmm. Hmm. Guys. Um, I'm just going to keep blending it. Maybe if I just keep blending it, it'll... So, FYI, I, that little pump did from, like, here, or let me show you better, from, like, here all the way down to, like, here. That's how, and from, like, here to, like, here. So, like, that's, so, like, that one little pump did cover a lot. And actually, hmm, when it first was going on, I was like, oh, this is supremely not the right shade. Um... But it's okay. It's not a horrible shade. It does actually match my skin tone, kind of, which you might not even be able to tell because of shadows. But it does actually kind of match. It's not, like, horrible. Um, it is kind of sticky. Like, I kind of want to, like, wash my hand now. I don't know if it's because of the product or how I put it on. It's smooth, but it feels sticky. That's the only way to describe that. So it feels kind of sticky. Hmm. Not sure how I feel. But... I'll use it and see if I actually like it on my face. Maybe it might be nice for my chin to cover up, but I don't know. I will try. So, <clears throat> I'll do, so that was the only product I got from LA Colors, but it does have a pump, 
So they're doing something right. So the next two are from Sashi and Chic. Again, I could have not. Okay, so this one, this one was in true beige, and it was eh, a nice color. This is in medium one, and it's a by a different company, so I'm hoping medium one's actually gonna be okay. So just like a tube, and it is. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, again, I had to, like, blend this out to really blend it, um, for it to really blend. I put it here, um, but I did, it's really, I would rather, it's really smooth, it's really, it's really, it's not, it's very thin, too, it's a very thin, and it's multi-action skincare and makeup, which, duh, it's a BB cream. So, kind of the point. So, yeah. So, anyways. So, <coughs> it's like that. I do like, um, I do like Elf's one. Elf's has a pump. This one doesn't. I don't know if I like the pump, though, on the Elf one, to be honest. I like pumps on some of them, but not on all of them. The one on, for the Elf, it's not bad. I just, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yet. Okay, so that's this. The next thing I got also from Sassy and Chic is a beauty blender, which I probably should have opened first. It feels really duper duper soft. I I have a pink one I bought from Elf, and it did not feel like this at all. So I know you're supposed to soak it in water. I don't have water readily available. Uh, we'll get up and do that, but I don't want to waste time. So I will I will do a review on this and see if it actually like. Expands. I will tell you right now, though, that's what I'll do. I'll compare this one with the e.l.f. one I have and see which one I like better. Because the other one's a little bit bigger than this. But if this one actually expands, this was a dollar. And the other one, the e.l.f. one I bought, was like four. And it doesn't expand. So if this one expands, this one might actually be like a true. It's really, really soft, too. Like, I wish I could make you, like, it's so soft. It's, like, really, really plump. Anyways, I would... I think I'm going to like that. Um, <clears throat> so the next two products are the Wet n Wild. They are glitter shadows. One is in silver, one is in gold. This is in silver, this is in gold. So let's watch them. It's going to be glittery. I already know it's going to be glittery. That's part of the reason why I bought them. But at the same time, I don't even wear really, like, regular eyeshadow all the time. So I don't know what made me think. Oh, glittery eyeshadow for a night that I'm going to be around a bunch of people who I care about. But I'm going to look... It's, I mean... I just want to look nice. So... Alright, let's get... Okay, it's packaging... It's still in there. So, um, A plus Wet n Wild for making your products not come out of the wrapping paper. But if I can't get it out, I can't use it. Always remember. There we go. <coughs> After like a minute. So, first off, this very nice Wet n Wild color icon. This is in brass. C352, the glitter single. They did have other wet and wild, wet and wild singles. Oh. Oh my. I lied. I'm going to love this eyeshadow. I did not realize I would love this. Oh, hell yes. So obviously you don't use this as a base. Um, You definitely, like, I would put, like, a neutral because it's gold. But, like, when I first... I wish I could have, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get glitter on my hand. So, yo, I just go like this. It's soft. I was expecting it to be so green, and it stuck, like, that first time. Like, obviously, and it's, I mean, granted, it still stuck to the finger after I swiped. So, I mean, obviously, you would want to apply this with a base. But there you go. There's the gold one. Also, water 
Do not always get glitter off your hands. Always remember. So, that was the gold one. Pleasantly surprised, not gonna lie. I'm very, very particular about my eyeshadows. I'm particular about all my makeup, so let's just be real. Most, let's just be real, everybody. Everybody is. Like, we can say, oh, that's nice, and that, that might be something I try, but, like, at the end of the day, you're also kind of like, I don't know. I'm very particular, and you're like, maybe, but I don't know. Okay, legit, still, see, this is the one thing I'm going to have to say I do not like. Packaging, guys. Wet and wild. What are you doing? Packaging. Your packaging should not take me two minutes or almost a minute to unwrap. There we go. Find me later. Okay. My computer wanted me to restart. I'm like, nope, I'm in the middle of the video. Alright, so this is the silver one. This is the gold one. And I showed you the gold one. So this one's called brass and this one's called spiked. So. Very nice. I do have to say, the plastic of this is really nice. Like, it was a dollar, but it feels like really, like, I don't think this would break. Or even probably get scratched. Oh, look how, yo, okay, I'm very anti-glitter, but I'm probably going to end up wearing these more often than not. Yo, check it. My hand's all shiny. I'm probably going to wear the silver one. The, the dress I'm wearing is purple, and I think it has silver on it, and to be honest, I think I'm going to wear silver. Silver eyeshadow. Okay, well, sparkly hands, sparkle, sparkly hands, sparkle. So, glitter, not always your best friend, but in this case, actually was. So, wet and wild. And again, all the stuff I bought was a dollar because I got it from Dollar Tree. So, um, there was tax because Florida is a tax state, but you know, um, I'm out of the four products or five five products I bought, I'm most interested to do a review on this. See if this is better than the elf one. Um the eyeshadows, pleasant surprise. Um good job wet and wild glitter eyeshadow that actually one stays, doesn't really flake, but two also is not like messy. Like that wasn't really messy. Like I mean it's it stuck to my hand and it stuck to my swatch but it didn't make like a mess all over the bed or anything liquid makeup i'm gonna have to give this another shot because honestly i'm kind of like this feels sticky i don't know if i want to put this on my face so i'm gonna have to maybe try it but carry like wipes with me so that way if i don't like it and take it off um bb cream i actually really like this a lot i might review this against the elf bb cream which has a pump, which is the one thing I do kind of sort of like, kind of sort of not like, depending on the day. Anyways, this video is now like 15 minutes long, so sorry about that. I also got my hair did today, so here you go. It's not blow dried or anything, but I did go get it cut, which was a big deal, and I dyed it. Um, so I got it cut from Supercuts, and I, I like it. It's the length I wanted it to be. I wanted it. I'm still trying to grow it out for November, but it's not like in my previous videos. It kind of felt like I was like kind of sort of looking like I had a mullet. So I was like, okay, well, that needs to get changed. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little Dollar Tree Expedition video. I don't know if I'll do many of these. I don't know. Um... Honestly, just because I don't really go to Dollar Tree that often. But I will be doing another review video. I sh should be getting my package that I ordered that was supposed to be here Saturday. That did not come Saturday. Or Thursday or whatever day it was supposed to come. It was supposed to come on the 11th and it didn't come um, due to shipping problems. And so should be here Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll be doing an unboxing video for that. Which I'm excited about because it's hard candy stuff and I don't own any hard candy but I've heard a lot of really great things about hard candy products. And so I'm excited to try and see if they have anything. I'm really hoping that they have like a baked product in it because I've heard so many good things about the 
um, hard candy baked products. So hopefully that's one of the things I got in it. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay beautiful as always. Have a wonderful night. Stop recording. Bye.